Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and we're now going to be solving a um, writing question that asks us to identify the best way to write a sentence that is given to us. What you have to focus on in this sort of problem is who the subject is, what the action that they're doing is, and uh, what they're doing it to, if they're doing it to anything. Um, so subject verb object and this is the this is the order in which english sentences should be written so let's go ahead and see um, whether or not these sentences satisfy this requirement first um, aspiring astronaut rosamund banks the youngest person to hold her breath for three minutes underwater doing it just two days after her 11th birthday um, so here we're given a very large subject aspiring astronaut Rosamund Banks, um, the youngest person to hold her breath for three minutes under water. But because this is in between commas, it was as though this clause here uh, was optional. So you could have the rest of the sentence be its own sentence. Whenever you have a clause in between two commas, you should think of it as though it were optional. So aspiring astronaut uh, Rosamund Banks doing it just two days after her 11th birthday here doesn't make much sense. We have the uh, subject, aspiring astronaut Rosamund Banks, uh, but we're not really told what she did. We don't have the action that she performed. So this doesn't follow the uh, structure of English sentences that we should have. Uh, then the second option here, Rosamund Banks, the youngest person who held her breath for three minutes underwater and who did so just two days after her 11th birthday. Um, so this doesn't work out because the uh, subject, again, it's this entire thing, Rosamund Banks, the youngest person who held her breath for three minutes underwater. But then again, we're not told what she did and who did so just two days after her 11th birthday um, doesn't tell us what the action actually was. A better uh, way of saying this would be um, even just did it just two days after her 11th birthday, even though it would leave a lot of room for um, misunderstanding because we wouldn't know what it is. Rosamund Banks became the youngest person to have held her breath for three minutes underwater and did it just two days after her 11th birthday. So here we have um, a full sentence in that we have Rosamund Banks became the youngest person to have held her breath for three minutes underwater. Um, Rosamund Banks is the subject, became um, is well became the youngest person to have held her breath for three minutes underwater is what she did, and this is this would be the entire um, action that she did. Uh, but then that's already a full sentence and did it just two days after her 11th birthday could be a different sentence. She did it, for example, two days after her 11th birthday. Um, so this is a run-on, and this is why this sentence doesn't work. And then this fourth option here, uh, Rosamund Banks was the youngest person holding her breath for three minutes underwater. The act was done just two days after her uh, 11th birthday. Doesn't make sense because holding here is um, implies that this action is still happening. To hold lets us know that we're talking about the act of holding in the abstract, in general. It's an infinitive. Whereas holding uh, makes it feel as though it were happening right now in the present. So the action here is not um, what it should be. Also, the act was done uh, could again be its own separate sentence. So uh, we're introducing a completely new subject here, which is the act. And was done is the, um, the verb here. And then you have the rest of the sentence just two days after her birthday. So this is not only a run on, but holding isn't correct. And then we have this last option here. Rosamund Banks became the youngest person to hold her breath for three minutes underwater, doing so just two days after her 11th birthday. Uh, so this is better because you can't really have doing so just two days after her 11th birthday be a separate sentence. Um, this is simply extra information that we're having within the same sentence. So this is the best option. I hope that this explanation helped figure out this problem. Um, and good luck with this. Happy prepping!